This is actually my first white sturgeon I've ever caught, so I'm pretty excited to have this fish in my hands. Now I'm gonna go. What's going on, guys? Welcome to today's vlog. I'm with Austin. We're actually gonna go do some fishing today. Uh, before we get out there, we're gonna do a last minute stop at the bait shop, uh, pick up some ghost shrimp and some other things we need for today. So, should be a good day out there on the water. Stay tuned. up guys this is a Casey's custom leader these actually have a weight synced up on it to keep your bait on the ground pretty important for sturgeon fishing just because the tides out here get really strong and if your baits floating in midair you're not gonna have a very good chance of catching a sturgeon uh, due to the fact that they're bottom feeders so we're gonna rig this up we have a nice slider here uh, and after that we'll put on maybe eight or so ounces of weight get some ghost shrimp on this bad boy and toss her on down what's up guys this is a lamprey eel uh, a, favorite, a favorite bait for sturgeon fishing. Not only is it like one of the most disgusting smelling baits possible, which is great because they're scent hunters, but it also stays on the hook really well, which helps you uh, ensure that you're gonna have bait on for a long time. Another type of bait that works great for sturgeon are these grass shrimp. Now, as you can see, I put two of these on the hook along with this little bait button at the end. Now that's gonna keep your bait nice and snug when that sturgeon comes up and just sucks it off the bottom. Uh, it's gonna keep you from losing a lot of bait and also keep that fish very interested in what you got down there. And now we wait. So the biggest part about sturgeon fishing is making sure you have patience because although these fish are mobile on the bottom, they're very slow and they do take a while to find bait. So while we wait uh, on these two poles, we're gonna hook up the third. And what we have going on here is Austin's gonna be hooking up a row bag. Basically what this is, is a, uh, a type of netting. It's really sensitive, so it doesn't bother the sturgeon's mouth when it bites it. And it allows the juices from the row, the row to come out really quickly and draw the sturgeon in. So you wanna tie this really tight, make sure that it's nice and solid so that you aren't having any issues with the row escaping from the ball. Got a little striper here. Now this bit off the grass shrimp. I'm gonna throw them back in the water and go get some sturgeon. All right, guys, we got a fish here. Hoping to land it in the boat. We're kind of at an awkward angle. I don't want to stand up and lose it, but I'm gonna try. Just stand up. You gotta, so you gotta keep, oh no, it's a, okay. No, it's still there. Okay, it's still there. It's going for a little run here. got the sturgeon landed on the boat now this is a white sturgeon now these guys to keep them they need to be between 40 and 60 inches uh, this one's obviously smaller than that so we're gonna be throwing this fish back um, now the reason I got the glove on the left hand is because down the dorsal and the, the lateral lines of this fish are some pretty sharp spikes they're actually like razor blades um, now this fish is a bottom feeder so they don't actually have any teeth they're just uh, plates in the mouth to smash food that's a beautiful fish. As you can tell, I'm pretty winded. Uh, even though it's a small fish, it definitely did put up a big fight, um, as you saw in the earlier clips there. This is actually my first white sturgeon I've ever caught, so I'm pretty excited to have this fish in my hands. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this fish back, and we're gonna keep fishing and see if we can get one of size. As you can see, we're just gonna resuscitate the fish a little bit. It's pretty lively. Just gonna give it a good push. 
and off it goes. So we just let that sturgeon go and already Austin got hooked up to a fish. So let's see what we got here. So it looks like we got a nice striper here. Oh, that's a keeper oh, size. Oh, that's a keeper. Looks like the bite's finally picking up here, guys. We just released a sturgeon, just hooked up to a nice, maybe 18 to 20 inch striped bass. Well, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up here. We had a great day out fishing. We caught actually my first sturgeon and a keeper striper. So all in all, pretty successful trip. Uh, pretty happy with the outcome. So if you like today's video, go ahead and hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys soon.